Hey everyone, Monday again, it's uh, August 3rd. And uh, as you can see, the square is, is kind of busy today. I was actually surprised when I came down here. There's uh, quite a few groups, uh, guided groups of guiding people around. This of course is the beginning of the vacation month in Spain. So I'm sure most people on the square right now and in town are Spaniards uh, starting their vacation, which, which is good. Uh, in uh, other, other news, I guess, the virus update, um, there's a slight increase in Galicia where we were down to like 160 cases a couple of weeks ago. Now we're up to like 300. Uh, there's spread. There's nothing really begin going on in Santiago, but there's some things up in Coruña. There's a, a few uh, cases that have happened there and it's been spreading. 70 cases or 80 cases i think um, so it's on a slight uptick um, i still think they have it under control i'm not too worried about it uh, it's much better in galicia than it, it is in the, in the northeastern spain uh, so 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 virus wise i think we're still in santiago in galicia in general we're okay it's not great, but it's okay. Uh, I get a lot of emails from people asking, is it safe to walk now? Can I walk now? I have it booked, should I go? And it's always difficult to know what to say because if I say, yeah, just go ahead and go and something happened, then I will feel really bad. But uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's crazy to go uh, if you could figure out a way to travel safely. I'm not. When it comes to travel and the virus, you, might, you know as much as I do. Uh, it's up to whatever you feel comfortable with, I guess. But once you're in, especially in Galicia, which is the region that I know, uh, I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think it's uh, crazy to, to walk the Camino in Galicia right now. If you're wearing the masks and taking care of yourself, and uh, I think it's, it's okay. So of course now there's more people, which makes it a little bit different difficult to get the distance you need and all of that but as long as you take care and, and be careful I think you should be fine the travel bit of course is the difficult thing um, and of course there are many of you that can't even come so that's that's just, that's a, that's a given but anyway we drove up to my in-laws uh, Friday and back yesterday Sunday and uh, there's much more people now walking we drove through Melidia and Arsua and we could see now not a queue of people, but it was there was a few lines forming <laughs> from Saria, and I'm sure that it also is reflected in the numbers from the pilgrims' office. I haven't actually looked, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's on the uptick as well. So uh, that's that. Um, what else? Uh, I had a couple of people come into my office. There was one guy. I've been traveling up from Porto. He came in this morning. He was going to drop off a backpack and then he's going to take the bus out to Astorga and walk back. So people are starting to move and uh, I guess that's good. As long as you do it in a good way and be safe. Uh, still, everyone's wearing a mask in Santiago and I feel very safe due to that. Or even all outside in the country, when I, we went to my in-laws up in the northern part of Lugo, and even in the small villages there, people were wearing masks. There was a fiesta that was supposed to be held yesterday on Sunday, first Sunday of every August, there's a fiesta in my in-laws little village. So but the fiesta was, of course, was, was canceled. But, uh, but it, so, so even up there in the remote areas of the mountains of Lugo, people were wearing masks when they were going outside, which was good to see. So anyway, that's the uh, that's what I have to say from here. Really, there's nothing more. There's there's people. Uh, mostly of them probably come by car. Anyway, stay safe. Talk to you soon.